Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a ribbon bow tutorial today. It's been so long since I've done a ribbon bow tutorial. I've just been making so many glitter style bows or canvasy style bows. I just haven't gotten round to making a ribbon one for so long. And I really wanted to do this one today for you all because I really love this shape. It's a really versatile shape. You can use any colours, it don't have to be Christmassy ones. You could do pastels, you could use all one colour. But I just love the effect that that gives with the three different colours. And the colours I'm going to be using in the tutorial today are these gorgeous snowy, frosty blues and white. And this colour combination was inspired by these little Polly McClay snowflakes that I've got. I got all of these little Polly McClay pieces from AliExpress. They're all around four or five millimetres, little hearts, stars and the snowflakes. They do all different colour combinations. So yeah, my colours today were inspired by these snowflakes. As you can see, I just used white ones on here to bring out the white ribbon in the bow. So this is what we're going to be making today. So I've already cut out my ribbon. I've got six pieces all the same length and then one longer piece. These six pieces here, I've got two in each colour and that will be three for one half of the bow and three for the other, like in this one, so it's three and three. So that is what these pieces are for. And then this longer piece is for your base bow. They're all 38 or 40 millimetre wide ribbon, that don't matter, or one and a half inch wide ribbon. So I'll just show you that on my tape measure. So it's one and a half inch wide or around 38 to 40 millimetres. And this longer piece is cut to just over 13 and a half inches or 35 centimetres in length. And that's this longer piece. You can pick any of the three colours for your longer piece. I could have had this longer piece in the white or the blue, but I really like this blue, so I wanted to go for that one for the bottom layer. On this one, as you can see, I chose the red. The red was the top layer, and I also chose it for the bottom layer, because I thought these white snowflakes would stand out really well on the red. So I've chosen the light blue. And then these six pieces are all the same size. Again, one and a half inch wide ribbon or 38 to 40 millimetres wide. And these are cut to just over three and a half inches or nine centimetres in length. And that is all six pieces. Now I've already heat sealed all of my ends. So you'll need to do that on all the ends of your ribbon. Just take a lighter and just run that along the edges of your ribbon and that will prevent any fraying. So do that on all pieces of ribbon. So starting with our longer piece of ribbon, which is the 35 centimetre piece of ribbon, we're going to make our base bow. Now to do that, I'm going to fold one piece down and one piece up to form like this kind of S shape. So I folded one piece down, one piece up, just roughly. And then I'm just going to slide, you can slide these tails And I want about the same distance on either end. I'm just going to do that by eye to begin with. And I want this middle, these middle loops, to be around nine and a half to ten centimetres. So I'm just going to measure. So yeah, they're around ten centimetres, so that's perfect. So once I've got that in place, so as you can see, those two are in line, parallel. I'm just going to pop a clip on there that side, pop a clip on there this side. So this is what you've got. And then I'm going to fold this up in half. And as you can see, I've done this by eye, so they are the same overlap. I'll just show you how big that overlap is. That is overlapped by just under an inch or two centimetres, these little tail ends. So I'm just folding it in half now and I'm just going to get a crease in there. I'm going to use a little bit of heat from my lighter just to get a good crease in there. 
And then when you open it up, you can then use that crease as a guideline for your stitching. So I've got a needle already threaded with some double strength thread. And I'm going to go across to this middle now. So starting from this side, I'm going to go in One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. And I can remove these clips. And then I'm going to pull this end to form a pinch. center one two three four times just to hold it in place and then I'm just going to go in through that bottom stitch and on the second go I'm going to go in and then not pull that loop tight I'm going to go in that loop a couple of times and then that will just form a knot to hold that all into place and then I'll just pop a knot in this thread because that's long enough to use on our next part of the bow. I have done a tutorial on how I thread my needles and make my knots in the end. So if you check out my channel, as you can see, I've just got that knot in there nice and quickly. So if you look on my channel at the basic of sewing bows, there is a tutorial on there showing that. So this is the base bow so far. We're going to sort out the tails at the end when we've got the bow made. But this is like a what I call a single pinwheel. A double pinwheel would have two lots of loops and then the tails. And this is just a single pinwheel. So I'm going to just set that aside for now because we don't need that at the moment. And then we can start making the main body of our bow. I've got some pins here. So I'm just going to pop them down close by. Try to get it all on the camera as you can see so i'm going to start with my darker colors because they're going to be on the top this is going to be the middle layer and the white are going to be the bottom layer so if i just show you this bow so this will be this one this green will be this light blue and the white will be where the white is so i'm going to take my first piece of ribbon hold the top and then you're going to fold it down and across so you've got this straight across this piece of ribbon here and this you want roughly the same so it looks like that and then you're going to fold it in half so it looks like this so you've got this little flap on the top side you don't want it this way around you want this little flap towards you and then on this open side you're going to take this top layer and you're going to fold that up to meet these other two corners here so I'll just show you that again on this open side here I'm going to bring this up to meet those corners so you've got three corners all lined up together and I'm just going to grab one of my pins and then I'm doing this part by eye halfway between this fold here halfway you want to just pin it. So I'm just going to go in and back out. I'm not going to pin it too high up here because this is going to be the loop of the bow and I don't want holes in it. So I've just done a tiny little pin in the bottom here. So that's your first piece done and this is what it looks like. That's what the back looks like. And now we're going to repeat that on all six pieces and we're not going to do it the opposite way we're going to do it all the same way as this so again i'm going to take my piece of ribbon cross it over at an angle 
making sure that this is straight across and these two are roughly the same distance. And then I'm going to fold that in half and just turn it sideways and then fold this one upwards, making sure all of those corners and edges are in line. Taking another pin and then halfway between this half here, I'm just going to pop a pin in. pins are very blunt, They're not very good pins but they'll do for now. So that's the second piece done. So that's all six pieces folded. Next we're going to pick up the blue which is going to be my top layer so whichever one you want to be your top layer like in this one for instance the red is the top layer and I'm having the blue as mine and then I'm going to pick up the light blue which is going to be my middle layer then what you want to do is hold them both like this so the folds are on the left under this top flap you're going to tuck this little piece inside. So looking at it from the top, you're going to slot that inside like that. I'll show you from the front. So this top layer, I'm going to slot this piece inside and you want it to line up with this pin here. Now to do that, I can't quite get it as far as I want it because this pin is in the way. I'm just going to pinch this in place with my fingers like this, remove this pin, wiggle it in a little bit further so it's halfway in line with that pin and then I'm going to use this pin and I'm going to pin those all together. So I've pinned them all together. I can still see where the pin mark is when I add my white. So it's the same thing again. You're going to use that top layer and tuck in this piece of the light blue now into the white. Now this pin is not marking the centre anymore but I can still see by eye that this is the centre. So again I'm going to keep that pinched in place Pull that pin out just so I can wiggle it in a little bit further up to where the halfway mark is and the, this pin here, the halfway mark here. And again I'm just going to make sure these are all in line and then I'm going to move this pin over to pin all of those layers together. And that is your first half of your bow done. Now this is actually the underside. When you flip it over, you can see that starting to take shape. So this is the top layer of your bow. So that's that half done. Now we're going to repeat those same exact steps in the same order with the other three pieces.
And as you can see, when you put those two halves together, they have that sort of opposite effect. So now we're ready to stitch in our centre. So I've taken my needle and thread again. I'm going to start with this side. I always go from right to left because that's how I prefer to work because I'm right handed. That just feels easier for me to sew that way. So starting from this side, so I've got the sew this way up, not this way up. I'm going to go in through this first corner, making sure I catch all three of those layers. And that's my first stitch, number one. And I'm just going to keep this pinched together with my thumb and finger. And I'm going to remove this pin. And then we're going to go in for two. And I'm going to just remove this pin and go in for my third stitch and this time that's catching this white corner here or the light blue sorry the light blue corner so that's my third stitch and then we're going to come in for the fourth stitch and I'm going to remove that last pin and do my fifth stitch and this time that is going to catch the white corner and then number six is going to be coming out through this last side of the blue. So that's six stitches. And then we're going to go for four more. So we're going to go seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's seven. Eight, nine, out through that last corner for ten. So this is what it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that is what it looks like on the underside. And then we're going to continue with the same piece of thread with our other half of the bow. Again, working from right to left so as you can see that will then join these pieces together perfectly with the same piece of thread so i'm just going to make sure these are lined up they look like they're slightly misaligned when i've put the pins in i'm going to go in through those first three corners i'm not going to pull it all the way through yet i'm just going to keep this pinch with my finger and thumb and then we're going to come back out for two Three, remove that pin. Four, five, remove that pin. Six coming out through the last blue corner, and then. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we can pull these all together to form our pinch and bring those two halves together. Gonna hold that in place and just go through that end to stop that coming unraveled. I'm just gonna go in and go through the loop to form a knot so that way I can't lose my pinch. So this is what you've got now. And I'm just gonna flip it over and then I'm going to start bringing the two halves together by going in one half and out through the other. And that will just close those two bows in together. And then on 
this last one I'm going to go in and in this loop I'm going to go in once twice pull that tight to form a knot cut off those ends of ribbon And that is your top half of your bow complete. As you can see, that's an absolutely gorgeous shape that gives a really nice finish. And I love it with these frosty blues and whites. So now we're ready to layer it on top of our tail bow. Now, these pinwheel bows, I'm laying it down like this so it's like an X. So this would be the center of your bow straight across this middle here because it goes like an x shape so these loops are diagonal and then the tails are diagonal so that is how i'm going to line up my bow so going by eye visualizing the center here so i'm just going to take my hot glue gun place some glue across that center Clip. Now the clip I'm using is just a 45 millimeter double prong clip. You can use whatever you prefer. You could put it on an elastic, you can put it on a headband, whichever you like. I like to line my clips like this. So I'm going to go for a white ribbon. So I've just cut off a couple of 10 millimeter wide strips of ribbon. One is to wrap around my center and one is to line my clip. I just cut these by eye because I've lined these clips so many times. I don't really need to measure it so much now. But that is, I've cut at 13 centimeters. I usually use around 12 centimeters to line a clip, but we can cut off the excess as needed. So I'm just going to heat seal the ends, place some glue just under halfway along place that on the underside of the clip not all the way across just that top part and I'm going to tuck it in at the pinch part and then yeah as you can see this is going to be too long I can see that just by looking at it so I'm just going to cut around just over about a centimeter and a half seal that end again and then um, don't put any glue on this part because these have got the gap in the middle you don't need to because when I fold this over that will seep through that little gap and that will hold the two halves of the ribbon together anyway so that is how I line these clips like that and then we're ready to stick this on the bottom I'm just going to pop a bit of glue on there, leaving the pinch part free. And I'm just going to stick that across the bottom of my bow. Again, remembering that these are diagonal to each other, so this will be central. And then this other piece, which is around the same length as the last, I think. Yeah, around 13 centimetres. Again, I'm just going to heat seal the ends some glue on one end and pop that in my clip in the center so it's lined up with the center of the bow and then I'm going to start bringing that around and I'm just going to hold my thumb here when I've got it as tight as I want it and I'm just going to place a little bit of glue here so when it goes over this join That'll hold all in place. So I'm just going to cover that join in the bow. I like to go round twice with my ribbon, my centre strip. So that's once, and then I'm going to go round again. And then I'm just going to cut off any excess ribbon. 
heat seal the end. And then finish off by sticking that down under the clip. And then just reshaping my bow. And that is the main part of the bow finished. And now we're going to trim our tails to how we want them and add our little snowflake embellishments. Right, now we're ready to cut our tails at an angle. Now, you don't have to do it at an angle if you want. You can do what I call a snake's tongue and cut a V in there. And to do that, you would fold it in half and on this outer corner, cut it into a V like that. I like to have mine just cut at an angle. You can choose to have your longer point this side or this side. And as you can see on this one, I have my longer point on the inside of the bow. So I need to cut from here diagonally up to this corner. You can choose how long you want these tails to be. You can trim them down a bit shorter if you want. I don't want mine to be too short because I'm gonna have the snowflakes on there as well. I'm going to flip it upside down because I prefer to cut from right to left. So this is going to be my longer side of the tail. So from this corner, I'm going to cut in diagonally. I'm going to go in around half a centimetre because these are quite long. So I'm going to go in about a half a centimetre from the end. And then I'm going to start cutting diagonally. So as you can see, the piece I've cut off is at an angle on this end. And then I'm going to do the same with the opposite end. So starting from this corner, come in around a half a centimetre. And cut round diagonally. Like that. And then I'm just going to flip that over to make sure that they look the same length, which they do. I'm happy with that. And then I'm just going to take my lighter and I'm going to heat seal those tails. So this is what we've got now. And now we're ready to embellish our tails with our little snowflakes. So on these pointed ends, I like to do three snowflakes, so I always work in odd numbers. So taking my little snowflakes here, I'm going to pick out two whites, two light blues, and two of the darker blues. And then to stick these, these are made from polymer clay. This Gorilla Super Glue Gel with the green lid, that works excellently on polymer clay. So that is what I'm going to use. Shake well. I'm just going to remove this lid. And I've got some little tweezers here. And I'm just going to grab the edge of that snowflake. And then I'm going to a little bit of my glue gel on that snowflake like that and then I'm going to pop it in that top corner just hold that in place for a few seconds to set and then the lighter blue And then next we're going to do the white.
and then I'm going to flip the bow upside down and repeat the same on the other side. And there you have your finished hair bow. That looks really gorgeous in these frosty colours. And the colours match so well with these snowflakes, they just really finish it off beautifully. And like I said, you can choose any colours, you don't have to have a Christmassy theme. And as for the bottom ribbon, you can choose any of these colours to use for your base bow. So as you can see on this one, I went for the top layer which was red in the base bow. And this one I picked out the middle colour in the base bow because I just thought that these snowflakes would stand out better on that medium sort of blue colour. I'll pop links in the description under this video of all the products used to make these bows. If you want to join our Facebook group, head on to Facebook and it is called Hair Bows Tutorials Advice and Craft Chat. And on there I show sneak previews of upcoming tutorials. We all share advice and ideas and our makes. It's a really lovely little group so come and join us over on there if you want to. I've got all my links in the description below as well for all my other social media accounts. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, whatever platform you use yourself. If you have got any questions, pop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye bye.